For the past four weeks, I've been testing a bunch of gardening apps and some were awesome, some were terrible. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys my top three picks for the best gardening apps. With that said, stick around. I think you'll like what I got for you. Let's get into the video. So the very first thing you wanna do within any of these apps is change your last and your first frost dates. I would suggest doing it manually because when I did the GPS location to pick where you were, it wasn't as accurate as changing it manually. Find out what your last frost date is, just type it into Google. It'll tell you your last and your first. Put it into the app, you're good to go. So my number one pick for the gardening apps is Planters by Percula. The reason I picked Planter as my number one gardening app is because I'm more of a visual person and this was the only app that let me pick the size of my garden bed and put it into the app itself and then put the plants into it. So it's almost like a square foot garden kind of concept where you have each square. I have a three foot by eight foot garden bed in my backyard, put that into the app. And then in each of those squares, I can actually put say tomatoes, broccoli, anything I'm planting for the summer into that app. And that was the only app that let me visually see that into the process, which makes it my number one pick. So when you do open this planters app, the far right will be settings and under settings, you can check your first and your last frost dates. So once you've set your last and your first frost dates, go back the far left tab, you'll see gardens. Once you click on that, you'll be able to click on new garden. Choose that, name what you want your garden to be called. I'm gonna name mine prepping to survive. You'll set your width and your length of your garden. So I have a three feet wide by eight feet long garden. And then this is the coolest feature with this app. You'll click on add plants, go down and for this, for all these apps, I'm just gonna have tomato as my example. So tomato, hold it down and you can put the tomato where you're planning to plant your garden. So I'm going to be putting it on the, my self facing, the farthest away on my self facing garden bed. So it's gonna get the most sun exposure and you can do this. And when you add the plant, it'll tell you uh, information on it. So your description of the plant, you can change the spacing, the square foot, you can change the depth, you can change, it'll tell you if it's a full sun, the watering schedule, warm weather crop, days to harvest, and then some additional information. I won't go into all the details. Another really cool feature with this planters app is the calendars tab at the bottom. So once you click on it, it'll tell you when you should start just these indoors, transplant, or sow them outdoors with your last and your first frost date. So if you scroll all the way down, you'll see under tomatoes, it'll tell you that you should plant them indoors. Tomatoes should be started March 23rd, six to eight weeks before the last frost date. And then I should plant, transplant them in May. So when it's the hottest season, depending on my location. I found this app very easy to use and it was just visually appealing overall. Every single, there's only four tabs. Some of the other app, apps had more, but it got straight to the point, very forward. There's nothing complicated about it. It was just overall a very good experience. So that's why Planters by Percula, my number one pick. So my number two pick is called From Seed to Spoon, and it's a couple that have created this app. They also actually have a YouTube channel called From Seed to Spoon, and they've created this app just to help gardeners, everyday gardeners out. The best feature with this app is it's extremely detailed for gardeners. So it's a very good reference to go back to as you're going through your gardening season. So one of the best features and the thing that made it number two on my picks was on the home screen, very bottom left tab, plants. As you're scrolling down, they'll give you a list of all the crops, all the plants. When you scroll down, there's a star or a favorite on the right side. Go through the whole list, pick what you want to plant. So I'm going to be doing pole beans. I'm going to go beets. I've already started bell peppers indoors. Bok choy I might start this year. Broccoli, carrots as well, cauliflower. And say you've gone through the whole list, you figured out what you wanted. At the very bottom, you're gonna see additional filters. Click on that and click favorites. And then everything that you have favorited, so everything that you're gonna be growing in your gardening season this year is going to show up on the screen. The fact that you can favorite them 
and go back to them and click on them and just have them in one spot. That's why From Seed to Spoon made it as the number two choice. So the third and final gardening app that I'm recommending for you guys today is Sewing Calendar by GVK Software. So the thing that I really liked about this app is instead of having tabs at the very bottom like the first two apps, this one has everything within the home screen. So it's just kind of images, you click on them, that takes you to the tab. So it's just a different kind of dynamic for the app. When you click on veggies and fruit index at the very top, you're gonna have the same concept. You're gonna have every single kind of plant you'll wish for. This app doesn't have as many of the varieties as the first two, but you'll be able to get by with what they've got. The two really cool features that the sewing calendar stood out by is they have a soil pH for each plant, which none of the other apps had, and they have a nutritional value per 100 grams. So for tomatoes, you're gonna have the energy, the carbohydrates, the sugar, the dietary fibers, the fats, protein, the water, and it's a huge list of the nutritional factors for the 100 grams. And I didn't see any of the other apps even become close to offering that which is why it's my third choice. After you've set your last and your first frost date, when you click on my garden on the home screen beside the veggies and fruit index, if you click on the plus button and add plant to garden, you'll select your plant. I'm going to go tomato at the very bottom. You'll select the date that you sowed or you transplant your crop. So for me, uh, March 23rd is when I started my tomatoes indoors. Press okay and press save. And what will happen is it'll give you a germination complete and a harvesting progress. And if you add all the crops you're planting in your garden this year, that'll have the progress in this My Garden section of this app. So one of the cool features with this sewing calendar app is on the home screen, the fourth tab down, you'll see the monthly overview for the veggies and fruits index. When you click on it, they'll give you the months of the year. And if you click on one of the months, such as April, it'll give you a list of crops that you should be sowing according to your last and your first frost dates or your location. So for each of these three apps, there is a disease and pest index where you can find out any kind of disease, any kind of illness that your plants are going through. So that's not really unique between any of these apps, even the crappy apps, they all had this feature. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys got something useful in this video, if you're gonna try one of the apps, consider liking and subscribing. It helps me out, helps the YouTube algorithm out, helps the channel grow. Until next video.